It's a spring game. Duke Thomas with Quandre Diggs back to receive the kick. Takes it out to the eight interceptions. First play of the game, Jonathan Gray working. Kendall Sanders to the bottom of your screen. And the pass goes to MJ McFarland over the middle uh, of the protections. All five starting offensive linemen will return. However, a few of those out for this spring with injuries as David Ash, Ash is engineering a quick and effective drive against the second team, Texas defense. Another seam up the middle. And Jonathan Gray, spring, according to Mac Brown and Major Applewhite. Play action, Ash rolling out. Quarterback feel comfortable. If the ball doesn't hit the ground, you can go fast. And that is exactly what the Texas offense is doing. Another completion to MJ McFarland. 34% of his passes a season to go in the red zone. One of Major Applewhite's keys for Ash and the improvement this season. Junior college transfer, early enrollee this spring. Quick pass outside, Brian Jackson met immediately. Outward and long. David Ash much improved on third down a year ago. Underneath the Bryant Jackson, that will be comes out for the first field goal attempt of this spring game. It's because when it's a kickoff and Nick Rose is getting into it, it's going to go a long way. That one does for a touchback. Physical, nasty, violent. And we start on the ground. Joe I think that those two correlate. The more you do it at anything you do, if you have deliberate practice, it's a lot easier for you to, to show that skill. Pits. Will it be a three and out for the first team defense? McCoy says, nah, -uh. not going to go down. The Moving the ball even more, especially when you think of it in terms of an up-tempo offense. Now, when a little don't give him too much early on, I believe he can succeed there. Joe Bergeron taking it left side, stiff arm, but. There's not going to be yards out. Case found John Harris for the first time and the first down last time. Pressure up the middle. The biggest challenge would be for that second team offense to go up against this first team defense in this spring game. Quandre from the end of one play to the snap to the next. Malcolm Brown with the carry. And that one brought down for a loss in the back. Part of the defensive end, Caleb Blewett. Loss of nine on the play. David Ash, screenplay, Malcolm Brown. Eaten up, we got a flag on the play. Personal foul, face mask, number 50. 15 yard penalty, first down. So Texas is not really allowed to go up tempo quite yet here. Malcolm Brown, mad at the line. Second down. David Ash looking for Jonathan Gray, and that skips off the turf. Looks like we're lacking a the swing screen out to the right. Didn't quite work as well as they wanted to last time, but I, I like what they're trying to do with the ball. Third and seven, Bryant Jackson is going to be close to the first down. Ball out of his hand. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Ash steps up. He says he likes to throw deep. Got a man in the magic. It starts with the time. No pressure on David Ash, and this young man has that nice, comfortable pocket that he sits in. And you look at the ISO here. Check it out. The combinations of route there, uh, they just got behind him, the safety. Uh, because that jam was that space, hard for that safety to make that play over the top. Nick they got off the field, forced the punt. Offense moved it down, got 10 points on the first two drives. So, so far, I think they're ready to play. They're getting after each other really well. A great kick. I think we got a chance to have a good defense. Case McCoy now out with Jonathan Gray in the backfield. And Duke Thomas, there he is, staff of football here. That's all access right there. I, I know. We're getting it live as it develops. <laughs> back energy in your play but I think Jonathan Gray and both David Ash are right there in that in that moment third down and it's Duke Thomas he picks up the first down the Duke of Juke with the first down McCoy getting some air under it and that one's gonna be picked off Sherrod Evans going the other way he's got blockers and this one could end up in points of defense. I think part of the reason why you can move Duke Thomas over is the maturation of number 29, Sherrod Evans. Yeah, right there, it. he's in perfect position. You want to be over the top, eyes on the quarterback, and the run after the catch was excellent. That's a play right there that'll keep you in this lineup and keep you in this nickel package, and your coaches now gain confidence of what you can For the field goal. Right. 
Ash says this scheme fits Jonathan Gray so well because he's strong as we saw there. Now, them being thrown out in the fire really allows them to be prepared. David Ash was certainly that. You mentioned even with all this experience as Rose boots it out of the end zone. At that point in the game, no one else was making the plays. McCoy rolling out. He's speaking about leverage on defense. Why? Well, if you look at it here, that was an excellent job of leverage. You, you, that was the touchdown of the spring game. Jonathan Gray adding another one, and it's 17 nothing. And David Ash back with the first. Even Jake Rollerson, early enrollee freshman from Salina, Texas, an emergency appendectomy. And camp also spreads out the defense, and you see now there's only six to seven guys in that box, which allows them to run that play effectively. Number three combined, be better in the red zone and on third down and clutch. Well, anyone you want, knowing that they're going to catch it for you. Nine seconds from spot to snap on that last snap. That is the up tempo we're looking. For. Only 11 carries. Kendall Sanders. Shaking tackles, going to the right side, and there's another touchdown for the first. Congratulated him. Watch how slippery he gets here. But once again, packaging plays. There's a run and a pass off of that uh, play-action fake, and then the rest was just him doing a nice job, making this ball as a ball carrier. Keep that thing in tight so you don't get that fumble. Excellent job there by Kendall Sanders. As advertised, different feel from this group. Nick Jordan with the kick. Michael Thompson gets a lick, but he finds room to go. And Michael Thompson get a good look at one of those guys. Special teams as well. So now we have Tyrone Swoops out at quarterback and Joe Bergeron taking it. We're talking Jamarcus Russell big. And his football IQ developing. They bring the heavy blitz. And there's a heavy play to be able to. We got a change at the line here. Joe Bergeron out in motion. Swoops is going to make a move. Shiro Davis thought he had him. You'll notice the black jersey is not on Swoops. He finds the corner. Bergeron with the set up block. We're in the red zone. There's more. So coming off the edge, he's strong enough and physical enough to get home base as well. And a new role for Quandre Diggs, essentially playing that nickel inside of Marky. Rapper White says he's got that getaway speed. You can find him in space to make something happen. Third down for Swoops. Pressure steps up, finds a seam. There he is. Defense, Ricky. Malcolm Brown, something tells me Swoops can handle it. Malcolm Brown engulfed, third and goal. Pressure, Swoops evades Hicks, evades Peter Jenkins. Magic here or is this some tackling issues, guys? Yeah, well you just see Peter Jenkins coming off of that left edge there and the one thing you want when you're tackling a guy that's that big in Tyrone Swoops you can't be passive. You got to come up and you really got to pack a punch. That time, Peter Jenkins did not. But to be able to defend dual threats. A lot of running going on. Six-yard gain. That will set up a field goal attempt. It's Texas. A lot of talent on the offensive line. And they are looking for that depth. As Duke Thomas picks it up from his own end zone. Shakes a tackle. Good protection and a cushion for Mike Davis. Ash steps up. Want him to drop back, look for his receivers, no one's open, use his legs and pick up a first down. First down. Oh, little pitch, and that one is picked up by Jordan Hicks. It's good to have him back. Yeah, you see him here at the, the back of your defense. You want to see Jordan Hicks. He's lined up here at the back. Now watch him as this play develops. Jordan Hicks doing an excellent job there. He, he takes care of his responsibilities, and he finds work. And in zone coverage, the one thing that... And Matt Brown told us that David Ash, when he's good, he's closer to... Cedric Reed, quick. 14 yards from Marcus Johnson. 106. This is what Case McCoy likes to hurry up, and he puts that 
on the butt that a little earlier. That's the ball that was picked off by Adrian Phillips. Well, here what makes this throw was the timing. We all know that, they, uh, that, that Case McCoy, he's not a guy known for tremendous arm strength, but it was his. He threw it so quickly. Excellent throw. Joe Bergeron, nice cut to the out. Get in the end zone. Nice run. Extra point good. Fans coming out here to, to get a, a glimpse of this 2013 team. Every Saturday should be like this. The Jay Johnson on the return. The Jay Johnson. Oh, he's going to use so well. The Jets. <laughs> on statue over there. That's what I'm saying. David Ash back with 42 seconds on the clock in the first team offense. Ash this time deciding. Ash had Bryant Jackson, and this one is picked off. Adrian Colbert with the intercept. 34 second half of football. The Jay Johnson with Kendall Sanders back deep to return. A collision, but this one goes to Kendall Sanders, and it looks to, to get some more practice at bouncing back from the stage. Coach told us, Ricky, you kind of upset when you got yanked <laughs> your last spring. Pop that ball outside, and you really put your athletes in space with the football. Jay Gray in space, gets a block from Kendall in space. One of the reasons why Coach Applewhite loves this up-tempo offense. Jonathan Gray, nice cut back. Eight with eight is actually more difficult than five on five because if you're blocking eight with eight close to that line of scrimmage, smaller holes, bigger guys. Very fast and very quick. Manny Diaz mentioned Caleb Blewett and Bryce Cottrell as two guys that can get to the quarterback. Four hole and it's hard to tackle them. Teammates say showing more quickness in the spring. Quick toss, Bryant, David Ash, and the Texas offense. He didn't, it might have been the difference in the catch. Third down, 42 yard attempt. We know Rose has a leg. Minute drill, and I like the fact he came back and had a great series there to answer. Uh, good job by the ones he went. Connor Brewer. All do, they can all run, they can all block, and they can all catch the ball. They have the versatility. Major Applewhite's looking for Brewer on the run, and that's what Major said. He needed to see Connor Brewer. On Harris. Joe Bergeron evading Shiro Davis. <laughs> on you. Not a good side. Second and short. Third down. Texas offense. Four seven on third down so far in this spring game. The Jets not least making a big catch for conversion. Fumble on the play oh, against the boy. Baylor Bears. MJ McFarland giving him a little room, and the Jay Johnson did the roll in the red zone. Looking left side. Going back to the 26 yard attempt for Nick Jordan. And good. Jalen Overstreet from Tatum, Texas, now in at quarterback. Those linebackers, when you need them to crack down, and um, from talking to the coaching staff, he's really developed and gaining their trust. Texas is stockpiling at this quarterback spot. Pretty impressive group of guys that have out. Not only can you have those design runs, we're talking about those quarterback draws, but he can become a reliable passer. And, and for a lot of these young guys, things move so much faster, those windows are tighter. Can he be um, efficient and effective there? Showing the wheels, he Woo! gets up. And yeah. Releases the football very quickly as well. A lot of RPM on the football. Where the different players stand. Competitive advantage on offense. You're also adding another runner of the football in the game, a running back, and, and that makes it tough to defend as well. Over street, he's thinking about it. Space, still keeping his eyes downfield and picking up good yardage. An opponent in an environment like this, it's the season opener. You don't get to do this a lot, have the fans out, have an environment. Being a physical defense, and that's something when you do take pride in it, it becomes something that... Or so, what was the most important thing on that list for you to cross off first? I think for me, just putting the struck. Kelly, we appreciate it. Got a chance to talk to Patrick a couple days ago. And 
Well, he had a great point, said there's something they've never done here before at the University of Texas because he said he wants the first impression to be Texas, so everything after that is compared long time in big situations. Well, what I find with it is they start to take over. And because this is a team sport, the camaraderie is really highlighted when you've been doing the same thing with the same guys for the last three years at the place. And talking to David Ash yesterday, one of the things he talked about was the comfort level he has with the guys he's been playing with. And he said when he first... Many plays, as many snaps as you could possibly get. Ricky, there's a change. Major Applewhite going up tempo. What is it that you talk about when you watch the offense is you notice the flow. Mm -hmm. You see when you have up tempo and the Big 12 leading everybody. Texas way down on that list. 68 point. They say, you know, that. Sounds familiar? Well, as Pops, Skip Holtz is the new head coach at Louisiana Tech. Guys, the information, which means that they know it now. Running a play that no matter what look the defense is giving them, they know how to get open, they know how to make it work.